Hey guys, it's Tommy CM. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another park review. Uh, today's park is called Alpen Park, uh, in brackets, realistic theme park. And it was created by uh, NH99 underscore SVW. Now, my first park review I did was created by the same person. Um, if you have watched it, um, it's the underground uh, boat ride, which lasts about nine minutes. Uh, it really blew me away, that creation did. Um, but if you haven't watched it, really recommend going to watch it after you've watched this. Um, it really is, you know, out, out of this world, <laughs> what, what this guy has created. Um, I looked at this park. Uh, again, it's one of the highest rated parks on the uh, on the PS4 Frontier Workshop. And the description is, Alpine Park, my first creation on Planet Coaster. Alpine theming, one month in the making, everything custom built. Take a ride on Gipfel Sturmer, a Vacoma mine train inspired by Silverette's YouTube series, Jägerhorn or enjoy one of the three flat rides, Grand Carousel, Chain Carousel and Vice Horn. Use the Park Express that has four stations to get around the park. The building limit is at 100%, so the theming around the train is a bit messed up. Um, enjoy a meal at the Brow House restaurant at the back end of the park. Be sure to also check out the park in night view, have fun uh, and update its current version to prevent crashes. So uh, yeah, there we, go. there we go, that's the, uh, that's the description of what we're to look forward to. I mean, you can just see from the outset here how uh, how detailed this whole park looks. So we will get to the main entrance where the guests spawn, and uh, we will head straight on in. So uh, as we come down through the tunnel, you are met with this great big plaza, and I mean the effort into this. The, I mean th this plaza alone looks fantastic. You obviously got the four different planters, everything symmetrical, which is always pleasing for the eye when you when you get to one of these entrance plazas nice arrangement of uh, flowers down here what you got here he's got some cash machines first aid the sort of stuff you'd find at the main entrance some uh, ticket booths or information <clears throat> shops uh, some food and a load of toilets and I mean that that's pretty much everything you want from your entrance plaza you're not going to put any more sort of attractions or shops down there I love that he's got a train going over the entrance. Um, if you've been following me for you know for a couple of months now, you'll know that, that this is one of the sort of entrance uh, features that I like. Uh, I did put one of this. Uh, I did put a train in my Lakeside Adventure series. Um, not quite as grand as this, I will say. This this entrance does look fantastic um, with the clock tower and the the roofs and the castle theming. I mean, it, just the station itself inside. You can see in here looks you know looks fantastic. I mean, just on the side here, it, it just shows you don't have to, you don't have to decorate it massively. Obviously, if you ignore the walls, if you ignore the building that it's in, and look at what is actually on the station, you've only got a few planters and a few lampposts, but that's all you need in this train station. You know, train stations don't have to be mega themed, so uh, yeah, really, really nice train station entrance there. So we shall go in through the entrance, come out, we've got a bit of litter there, need to, uh, need to get a challenge on that. Um, got some obviously really nice fountains here. Some, I mean the, you know the the gardens and the trees etc. work really well, and I like that it's not it's not overdone. Um, that's probably something I tend to do sometimes is kind of overfill areas. So, you know he has left grass here. There's little bits of, you know little bits of plants sticking out, but that's what makes it look realistic. And obviously that's what he's uh, that's what he's gone for. So we've got the bits of plants in there, we've got the advertising boards. And then you've got this massive open space which just looks fantastic. Now, if you uh, if you have watched my uh, pathing video, you'll see that making these plazas isn't always easy. And sometimes you do get these little sections where um, the path doesn't quite meet. And I imagine that's what he's filled up this scenery with. And it, it just hides it so well. Everything is, you know... Where you've got funny joints between the paths, it's just a really easy way to, like here for example, it's just a really easy way to fill it in. I mean that that Alpen Park sign alone just looks brilliant. I think, you know, it's it's simple, but it it does stand out as a you know as a great entrance sign. Um, so from here, let's go uh, let's go left, and we have the I assume this is the Vice Horn. It is indeed. Very, uh, very popular. Just sat on the, uh, just sat on the hillside here. Again, it doesn't need to be massively themed. No one's going to see it around the back, apart from the people on the train. So it's just a couple of plants. And 
that rocks adding so much, you know, so much sort of, uh, you know, added decoration to it. You don't need to go overboard with anything else. It doesn't need like a great big fancy building. It already technically comes inside a building. So just adding a few, a few plants and a few rocks in the right way, just, you know, just makes the ride stand out really. So uh, yeah, that's all you need down there. Over here, we have a cheer swing, which I'm assuming is the chain carousel that he mentioned. I'm assuming the creator is German as well, judging by the uh, Eingang and Ausgang signs for entrance and exit. I love this queue line layout. I think that's really uh, that's really impressive the way he's the way he's laid that out. For some reason, it just looks quite it looks quite satisfying to the eye. That does. <laughs> But the, I mean, the main thing about this carousel is obviously the fact that this mine train coaster is going to go whizzing round it at some point, and the fact the fact that it interacts with it. Any time that any time that rides interact with each other like this, I think just it, you know it adds so much so much to it. The fact that you can be on one ride and another ride comes in next to it or very close to it. The planters he's got going around the edge instead of having a fencing is you know again really nice touch, and then obviously he's got his custom fencing on the end here. But I mean, in terms of decoration, that cheer swing just looks fantastic where it is. I mean, as you zoom out, that this whole thing's on a this whole thing's built on a tunnel. You know, it's a bridge going over the tunnel with with a train underneath. Here's the mine train. Yeah, that that just looks that that just looks phenomenal. I also like the little touches he's done. So here he's got like a staff maintenance gate. No one's obviously going to use that. There's no, you know, mechanics don't go down there if they're trying to fix it. They'll just go to the station. But the fact is, bothered to put that in, and he's got steps going down here to the tu to the tunnel. Um, you know, I, I I just think that's really really cool that he's spent the time to do that. And obviously, he's got it on the same side here again. He's got another path here. So yeah, really uh, really rate that. So we shall. I think that's it for down this. Uh, there is another train station here. So that is that is the second station we've seen. I know, I know he said that because of the build limit he's not been able to theme it that well, but I honestly don't I don't think that needs much more theming. You could I mean you could go all OTT with it, but as a as a general park train station, I, I think that I think that works works well. Whether whether <laughs> whether I've got low expecta expectations or not, I don't know. But again, a bit of planting, a few lampposts, and he's still got the canopy in this bit. He's still built that over it. I think that just I think that works well. But you know, whether that's just me. Um, we shall uh, we shall carry on around this section of the park. What we got here? We got some vending machines and some seating. Another another section of the uh, mine train that comes out and decoration in the middle. I feel like this is a uh, consistent theme throughout the park. I think the mine train is definitely going to be uh, interacting with everything here. Uh, I think. Right, so the mine train looks like it starts down here, so we'll get, we'll head there last. So we'll go over this section of the park. Uh, uh, from the entrance here, we have some food shops, some seating areas, another outdoor food area, a couple of tables, nice little food court area, loads of, loads of selection for food there, and loads of seating, really nice looking out into the plaza. And you get a really nice shot of the coaster there as it goes by. You've got these fountains and the, the hill and the waterfall, everything. I mean, the viewpoint from here just looks brilliant if these two can get out of the picture shot. Um, yeah, the viewpoint from here looks really good. Go down here. It's obviously got the carousel. It's used the hedging here for fencing. For me, the, the hedging is, is really, really effective on this sort of ride. To use that instead of a fencing, I think just makes it look nice and bright. You can easily add plants and trees to match it on the outside, and it just makes the whole thing look really nice. Um, it's simple but effective. So yeah, I really rate that. Um, let's look down here. Oh, he's, he's got like a fully functioning um, back of house sort of section. So behind all these restaurants here, look, he's got he's got air vents. He's got. He's got all sorts going off. That so, I mean that that is really good. He's taking the effort to uh, to make that and put bits of like scaffolding in the staff doors. And I'm assuming there is actually staff rooms down here. Let's see where see where this chap goes. Oh, 
coming out of there, I imagine. Yeah, so the so there is this, this staff buildings in there, so you can see him go in. Oh, he's loving life. Um, that yeah, that's that that's pretty good because looking at this, so you got a staff only route, so the guests will never come down here because they've got no reason to. There's no attractions for them down here, so they'll never come down here. But the but the staff will, and it just makes it look realistic when you're playing the game. Yeah, I really uh, really rate that, and the fact that he's. Put a really nice facade on the front. The buildings all look really well themed, etc. And then you go to the back, and they're just sort of square buildings, and they look, you know, just look really plain and boring. And that is a really realistic way of doing it. So uh, yeah, really, uh, really do rate that. I think that's, um, I think that's spot on. And then over here we have another train station. Again, it's gone for a consistent design, and same as what I said about the other station. I think that's. I think that does the job. I don't see any. I don't see any fault with that whatsoever. Um, you got another bit of this mine train coaster, which just seems to be all over this, all over this part, which is fantastic. I can't wait to go on this. Um, got this bridge down here underneath the chain lift. I'm assuming are these custom supports he's put on here? Yeah, they are. Yeah. So he's got. So he's built some custom supports there, which look really good. He's built that into the into the cliff face. There you see one of the trains on uh, on one of the block brakes. Yeah, I think the, the the scenery design there looks really good. Let's go uh, let's go underneath. And what do we have back here? Is this another station? It is. This is another train station. So this is his, uh, th so this is the last train station we've got to look at. I mean, this one is this one is more themed. I'll give him that. But you've got you've got this like you've got the restaurant uh, inside. So it, you know if you're going to build that above, yeah, I understand why that one is decorated more. And again, it it just looks fantastic from the outside, doesn't it? If he's built that from from scratch, which he says he has in the description, that that is brilliant. You know, the effort gone into that just looks uh, just looks superb. I know he said there was a restaurant down here somewhere. That's the roller coaster. Where's the? Uh, got some staff rooms there. So the restaurants in. Ah, the restaurants here then. Yeah. So the. So there is your restaurant in there. So that's where all the guests are congregating in there. So uh, yeah, really, uh, really nice theme in there. Really really good little restaurant built in I can see why this parks at the build limit it is frustrating but I do get why there's a build limit on the game it, you know it is to protect the uh, to protect the consoles more than anything I think just so that they can handle it um, I will point out that this park when I loaded it up had 4,000 guests in and it was a little bit sort of glitchy for me and um, so I have loaded it to sort of two and a half thousand um, so it is running a little bit smoother. So I think now's the time that we go on the uh, mine train coaster, this uh, Gipfelstürmer. I really hope I'm not butchering that pronunciation. Apologies if you're from Germany. Uh, so to start off, we've got this little cattle get, cattle pen queue line. Really, uh, really realistic, traditional queue sort of uh, style, leading into another cattle pen. It's the worst thing about theme parks from your life, isn't it? When you think you're out of one and you go straight into another. You keep walking around. You got a little well. You got some more scenery, some rocks, some plants. Keep going around. See, there's like a full-on bridge here. Look, he's built. He spent this time doing this decoration. There's a path here leading down to like a crossing and the maintenance path. But no one, no one is ever going to use that. It's just there for decoration. It doesn't interact with the ride, but it just looks fantastic. The fact that it's, you know, the queue line goes underneath it and the fact it makes you notice it. But yeah, it's, it's just, you know, it's just admirable that he's put that in and spent the time doing it. So uh, yeah, really, uh, really rate that. Uh, let's go back to where we were, going along the queue line. Go into another cattle pen. I think that's the third one. And up onto the bridge. 
I mean, that, that bridge itself looks uh, looks fantastic. The way he's built that, he's got you've got all the different arches. He's not just put two arches in for the track. You know, he's gone for a whole patterned bridge, uh, which I think is you know, which I think looks really nice. And we shall go through. There's a there's a train just sat in there as well. Look. So I'm expecting a few block breaks on the on this ride, but yep, we will go through. And we are finally in the station here. Um, which the, the train looks like it's leaning then, doesn't it? Is, it me? Is that train leaning? What? I'll be honest, I've not built a mine train in Planet Coaster yet. Does the track, does the station track lean in the station? Or is it supposed to? <laughs> That's definitely leaning. Right, let's have a quick look at the stats before this one takes off. Um, so the... The, the stats are average for excitement, average for fear, and it doesn't make guests very nauseous. It is the most popular ride in the park. You can see there's a constant queue for it, uh, which goes to results here. Perfect on the results. Track length, 1,460 meters, blimey. Duration, 196 seconds. Right, I think now's the time to uh, hop on we may get stuck at some block breaks, but we will we'll see them out and see what the whole ride is like. Um, we'll hop on. I may uh, I may go and follow view because otherwise we'll get stuck behind um, we'll get stuck behind the entrance there. Uh, yeah, chase into it. There we go.
Well, there we go. That was uh, that was really something. That was, wasn't it? It really does take up half the map, and it you know it takes you all the way around the park. You see absolutely everything. There's so much to interact with. I would say that I, I think the only reason why the excitement rating is is only orange is because of the block breaks. I think if the block breaks weren't there and the trains didn't like sometimes sit for ages at the top of the lift hill um, or in this tunnel just here I reckon the excitement rating would be massively higher um, I think the game can sort of influence that a bit too strongly um, but other than that I think that is fantastic that um, yeah that's certainly, certainly the best mine train coaster I've seen anyway um, and it's definitely up there with one of the best coasters I've seen um, built on console it's uh, yeah really impressive stuff um, but yeah, other than, that, other than that, that is uh, that is Alpen Park. So uh, yeah, please uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed that, and subscribe if you're new. And I will leave the details to this park in the description below if you do want to check it out yourselves. Uh, and other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.